Hi students, uh, good morning. Uh, today uh, I will show to you how to how to connect the laboratory number five. Okay, so laboratory number five is all about it's all about transformer transformer polarity. Okay, so the objective are that to determine the polarity of the transformer windings to learn how to connect transformer windings in series aiding. Okay. And to learn how to connect transformer windings in series opposing. Okay. Now, the first circuit where we're going to connect is circuit number or figure number figure 2-2. Okay. Figure 2-2. Okay. So, please open your lab manual, no? laboratory number 5. Okay. Laboratory number 5. Then, go to figure 2-2. Okay. So, now, now, how are you going to connect the this circuit, no? This uh, figure two dash two. All right. So let us get a wires. Okay. So I might get the blue wires. Okay. I'll get the blue wires and the red wires. All right. Okay. Sorry. Red wires. Okay. Now, so first is to connect the variable DC, no? So variable DC, so make sure this is in zero. Variable DC, that is uh, 7 and N, right? 7 and N. Variable DC terminals to 1 and 2 of the transformer, no? So 1 and 2 of the transformer, okay? Of the primary winding through the DC, um, through the DC ammeter, okay? So meaning to say, we're going to connect 7, okay? To the to the ammeter, DC ammeter, no? Here, no? Alright? So the DC ammeter will we will gonna use the Okay, so we're gonna use the minus or plus 1.5. Okay? So connect it from the number 7, connect it to the 1.5. Alright? And the negative, okay, connect it to the Terminal 1 of the transformer. Alright? And the neutral of the variable DC voltage output connect it to the number 2 terminal. Alright? So turn on the power supply and set the voltage control knobs so that current is approximately equal to the nominal current of the transformer primary. Okay, so the nominal current of this is uh, 0.25. Okay, so make sure that uh, it, it it will not it will not exceed 0.25 when you adjust the variable uh, power supply. Okay, let's switch it on. Okay, let's switch it on. All right. So increase. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, let, let's. Okay. Let's make it. Okay. Zero point twenty five. All right. Okay. That's the reading. No. Zero point twenty five. Okay. So. Turn off the power supply without modifying the setting values. Okay. So turn off the power supply when you when you. When you set it to see to that point point twenty five, no, the nominal value, then switch it off. Okay, the power supply, and do not alter anything. No, do not change any any connection. Okay, then connect DC voltmeter across terminals three and four. Okay, in the secondary, no, so three and four. So connect the DC voltmeter, no, to the secondary. So let us try. I'm gonna put this one through here. Okay. And I oh know not six, four. Sorry, number four. Okay, and number three through here. Okay. Okay, that's the step number uh, letter D. Okay. 
Okay? So this setup is similar to the figure 2-2. Okay? All of these connections are similar or same as the figure 2-2 in your manual. So please check your manual. Okay? So note the deflection of the DC voltmeter at the moment you close the power supply. Okay? When you switch on this, check the the needle, no? the power of, uh, of this uh, voltmeter. Okay? Okay? Check the needle, no? When the moment you switch it on, no? Uh, if the voltmeter pointer momentarily deflects to the right, so meaning if it deflects to the right, okay, then terminals 1 and 3, okay, terminals 1 and 3, okay, 1 and 3, all right, have the same polarity mark. So terminal, terminal 1 is connected to the positive side, okay, terminal 1 is connected to the positive side, okay, of the DC power supply and terminal 3 is connected to the positive side of the voltmeter. Alright, so let's check it out. No? Okay, if it is going at the right, if not, if it goes to the left, so meaning meaning this connection is in the negative side. No, the three is the three no is connected to the negative side of the voltmeter. No, okay, let's check it out. Right, look. Okay? Look. The moment I will switch it on, okay? See? Can you see that? The voltmeter. Okay? Look. All right? Can you see that? So it's it it deflects, no? To the left side, okay? Okay, look. It deflects to the left side, no? Okay, I will increase the current, huh? I'll increase the current to 0.50. Like that, 0.50. All right. So look, when I switch it off and on again, the volt, uh, the power supply, look at the dindle. All right. It is going to the left side, no? So meaning, meaning the terminal number three, Okay, meaning the terminal number 3 is connected to the negative side of the voltmeter. Alright, so this is, uh, this is wrong, no? So what we will do is that, what we will do is that, what we will do is to interchange, okay? So interchange it, like that, that 3 and 4. So 3 now is connected to the positive side of the voltmeter and number four is connected to the negative side okay let's switch it on all right so now when you switch it on the needle deflects no to the right momentarily okay let's watch it again i will make it closer okay all right so when i switch it off and on again no on look at the needle Okay, again, look at the needle. See, it's going momentarily to the right. So meaning to say that number three of our, the number three terminal of our transformer is now connected to the, to the positive. Okay, to the positive, no? So where is it? It's the one. Okay, to the positive of the voltmeter. And number four is connected to the negative of the voltmeter. Okay, so that, that is how the, the polarity works on transformers. Okay, now, so there's a question, no? In step number F, said, which two terminals are positive in windings? One to two and three to four. So identify, no? From this setup, no? from this setup, identify which one is the positive terminal and which one is the negative terminal, no? Between one and two, and three and four. Okay. So please take note of that. Why? Because I will I will ask you during the oral question. 
Okay? Alright. So, letter G. Disconnect the DC voltmeter from winding 3 and 4. Okay? Disconnect this one. Okay? And then, connect it across 5 and 6. Alright? So, let's disconnect. And connect it to 5 and 6. I'll, I'll disconnect number 3 and put it in 5. And number 4, I'm going to put it to 6. Alright. Then repeat the procedure. Alright. So let's check. Let's switch it on. Okay, when you switch when we switch it on, look what, what happened. Okay, I'll move it a little bit closer. Look at the needle. Okay, it deflects, no, it deflects again, again, huh? See? It deflects to the right. So meaning to say. So meaning to say, or we can conclude that, or we can say that, okay, just one more moment. Sorry. Okay, so now we can conclude that the negative of the voltmeter is connected to the terminal 6 of the transformer and terminal 5 is connected to the positive of the DC voltmeter. Alright? Got it? Okay. Alright. So, step number two. In this step of procedure, by the way, before that, no? Please answer letter H, no? H is asking you which two terminals are positive in windings. 1 to 2 and 5 and 6. Okay? So, I'm going to ask you that, no? During the oral question. So, return the voltage to zero. Return it to zero. Okay. And we will go to step number two. Step number two said, in this step of the procedure, you will see the effect of connecting two windings of transformer in series and the importance of polarity. Okay. Using your AC voltmeter, connect the circuit shown in figure 2-3. Note that terminals 1 and 5 are connected together. All right. So now look at figure 2-3. Okay? Figure 2-3. Okay? So figure 2-3 will be needing a power supply, no, from 4 and N, no? Okay? So let us disconnect this. Connect. And we will connect the next circuit. Right. Okay. Right. So connect four and n. Okay. Four and n. Or number four to terminal. Terminal number three. Okay. Four and n in terminal number three. Okay, for an N, 4 to terminal number 3, and N to terminal number 4. Okay, here. Okay, like that, no? So, N to 4, 3 to, 3 to 4. Alright. Next is that, connect 1 and 5, no? So, 1 and 5. So, 1... Okay, I'm gonna use a small wire, the yellow color. So one and five together, no? So one and five together. Okay. One and five together. And two and six with voltmeter. So two with voltmeter, no? AC voltmeter. So AC voltmeter. 250. Okay, 2 and 6 in AC voltmeter. Alright? And also, connect 5 and 6 okay, to a voltmeter. Alright? 5 and 6, okay, to the A voltmeter.
okay and the other one is one and two two a volt meter all right so three volt meters will use so one okay and two here in the voltmeter all right so turn on the power supply adjust exactly 208 volts ac that is one half the rated voltage okay and then measure the voltages all right so switch on okay Okay, so 1 and 2. So where's 1 and 2? Here, 1 and 2 is the voltage. Okay, and 5 and 6. Where's 5 and 6? This one, 5 and 6, and this is this 2 and 6. Okay. Increase two hundred eight, okay. Okay, two hundred eight. So adjust for an N to 208. So just wait. Uh, this is 103. Okay, almost. Okay, 208. All right. So let's record. Okay. So this is your uh, voltage at 4 and N, 208 volts AC. All right. And next, this is the voltage of one and two okay please record okay that is voltage for one and two and this one the other one is voltage in five and six okay but the two in two and six is zero okay all right all right so record all those measurements no and write it in your manual Okay. All right. Once you're done, return the voltage to zero. So return the voltage to zero. Once you're done, once you are getting, once you're done getting the measurements, move this one to the zero. All right. So remove the connection between terminals one and five. Connect terminals one six together. Okay. So. Meaning, uh, where's 1 and 5? So we will we'll disconnect the 1 and 5. Okay, make it switch it off. So disconnect the 1 and 5. Okay, like this. Then we will connect 1 and 6 together. So 1 and 6 together. And then, Okay, so 1 and 6 together and connect voltmeter across 2 and 5. So 2 and 5. Okay, so terminals 2 and 5. Okay, so let's this, this, this disconnect this, the voltmeter, and connect. Uh, Two and five. Okay, two and five. This. Two and five. All right. So once done connecting, then turn on the power supply and do the two hundred eight volts. Okay. So turn on the power supply. Make two hundred eight volts.
Okay, that's 208. All right. Okay, so now this is the voltage of one and two. Okay, and this is the voltage of five and six. Okay, and this is the voltage of two and five. Two and five. Right, got it? And here's the power source, 208 volts. Okay, once you're done, then that's it. Okay. So return the voltage to zero and switch it off. All right, so that's it. So that's experiment number five uh, for this uh, semester. Thank you and good luck to your to your uh, experiment.